Welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. This is Draymond here playing Earthbound, the classic Super Nintendo game that is just awesome. Uh, last time, what what did we do? We we beat the boss at Giant Step, and then and then we came in back into Wanette, uh, did the police mission, uh, and got the path opened up to Tucson. So, we are going to head on down to Tucson. Oh, these guys are running away. That's what I thought. Oh, a whole bunch of them. I think these are all the Antoids, yeah. Surprise opening attack. Well, let's just Psy gaming them. Pow. How you like me now? It's just easier. I mean, we could just have attacked, but... Eh. Enemy left a present. Inside the present, there was a cookie. Alright. Oh. Hello. It's your dad. You've been out there for, oh, for a long time now. Maybe none of my business. Don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy. But I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click. Beep. Right. Well. Yeah, I pretty well just... I've been, I've been going through this just all today, so all these run-throughs are probably done all on one day, at least they have been so far, so uh, every once in a while, Dad calls in and says, hey, you know, stop playing games, go outside. <laughs> I live rent-free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind, and boy, are they fast. I really love these guys. Uh, I'm not going to talk to the mice, because... If you talk to them, they you have to take one with you, and I don't really need an exit mouse. Exit mice are basically like a, what is it like the dungeon rope in uh, Pokemon? At least I think it's in Pokemon, uh, where you use it and you just it wow smash escape out of the dungeon. You don't have to worry about running back or whatever. So. Uh, but they take up an inventory slot, which we do not have very many of, so... I'm not going to bother with the exit mouse. At least not today. A cookie inside. More cookie. More cookie for me. More cookie for me. Oh, whoops. Uh, open the present. Hamburger inside. Alright. Much better than a cookie. What's this? Oh, a mushroom. New enemy. All right, the rambling evil mushroom. Uh, these guys can suck. If they just attack, it's okay. I don't mind it if they just attack, but they can, uh, which I'm sure we'll see eventually, um, sp attack with spores, and then you grow a mushroom on your head, and it messes with your controls. So up is now left. Uh, down is now up and things like that and just messes around with with all your controls. Oh, two mushrooms. We'll probably get spored here. Great. Uh, unless we side gaming them. Does it kill them? Yeah. Good. I just didn't want to deal with them. There we go. 190 experience. Ooh. Level 13. HP by 2. Wow, what a great level up. <laughs> I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. Very true, mole man. Oh, how come this guy, like, charged me? weird. Well, I guess we're in a new area, so enemies here, even though they're the same, they aren't really the same. <laughs> Yay! Left to present, probably another cookie. Yep, there we go. 
All right. Tucson, nice and quick to get here. Hello, welcome. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? No, I'm okay. It's too much trouble for me to tell you anyways. So there's the new hotel. A little more expensive here, but that's okay. We're going to go just save the game in case we die so we don't have to run back all the time. 350 more dollars in our bank account. We now have a bunch of monies in our bank account. Record. Create a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. We're going to continue because we can. Now this this is one of the cool things about this game. Um, there's this guy over here. And we're going to talk to him. What? So, what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm? You're annoying. Dang me. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, you. Later days, pal. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's so hot today. It rocks. Is it cold today? Ho, ho, ho. See ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ka-ching! Ness got $50. <laughs> There's all these little random things like this which just makes me happy in this game. And... This basically just pays for your... for a one night stay at this hotel because it's bloody expensive because it's... A, well, a more fancy hotel. But it's cool that they put these little things in the game for you to find and I love that uh, oh what's going on oh pictures taken instantaneously I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself okay get ready for an instant memory look at the camera ready say fuzzy pickles Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. <laughs> right. I always forget about that. Uh, this is the cycle shop. Puncture. Bikes are so much fun and so c and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with biking crowd. Do you want a bike? Sure. Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Sure. I really like your straightforward style. Tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Ness got the bicycle. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. <laughs> is there a quick button for the... No, there isn't. Oh, wow, we're like full. I do like the music with when you're riding a bike. Yeah, it goes in a convertible. Do, 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 do. Hey, Ness got off the bike. Well, uh, hey, we, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular but not rich. We're beaten cheap by this theater and we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Yes, yes, I bet you do. Alright, well. We pretty well know what we need to do here. The park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff in there. And that is going to the preschool. How do we know this? Because Paula has, I'm pretty sure she's talked to us in when we rested. If not, then I'm thinking of when I played through this again. But, we're supposed to come here and go meet Paula. Whistle, whistle anywhere, it makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother, I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula, she has a guardian angel it seems.
So, you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go p call Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? No, come on. Get off the desk, cat. Interesting. So, no Paula. So that means we have to go figure out where she is. Hey, no, don't jump up on me. Stop it. No, thank you. Stay. Stay down. No, you don't need to be up on me. Oh, cats. Uh, is there a magic butterfly anywhere around here? I want to say that there is. I would like to uh, get my PP pee -pee back up. I think there's one over here. There's a bus stop. I'm thinking about catching a bus to three. I heard there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. Get off, cat. Thank you. People in Happy Happy Village are fan fanatical about a strange religion. Maybe they got some sort of bad fever. Be careful. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I also heard that there are UFOs in Peaceful Rest Valley. I just want to get the butterfly that's sometime over here. Butterfly? No. No butterfly. Why would there... There it is! <laughs> Yay! Now we are going to go to the park. Shoot. <laughs> well, that did not go as well as I was hoping it would. Uh, this is going to hurt. I was not expecting there to be... Wow. This just doesn't really matter now, does it? Got the uh, <laughs> magic butterfly, but if this guy's just going to steal all my PP, then yeah. Ouch! A 49 smash? Ah, it's terrible. All right, no, I think we're just gonna go to the hotel and rest up for the night. <laughs> then we'll go to the park. Oh, oh, uh, enemy! Right, you meet the annoying old party man. Uh, he's wobbly because <laughs> he's been drinking a little bit too much. Attacking 18 HP. That's okay. Should kill him here. Yeah. Turn back to normal. The enemy names in this are just hilarious. Oh why, oh why are there so many enemies? Why? Man, that's just so many. Like, look at this. A couple dogs, a cop. Man. At least the dogs aren't really much of a threat. But still. Like, where did all these guys come from? Yeah, yeah. There we 
go. Mm -hmm. 94 experience for that. That's not too bad. And this is one of my favorite enemies in the game. Meet the New Age Retro Hippie. <laughs> Uh, it's just funnily named. Hundred and sixty experience for it. That's pretty darn good, though. So that's nice. There was a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. Uh, yeah. Alright. Come up to the hotel. Oh, and there's a butterfly there, of course. It doesn't matter, though, because we're just going to use the hotel. <laughs> Welcome to Hotel Tucson. One night stay will cost you 50 bucks. Would you like to stay? Have a nice day. Ness. Ness. Oh, yes. Oh, here we go. Ness. I'm a friend you'd have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Ness, I, Paula, I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help, come and help me. I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me. So that's one cool thing about this is, uh, they'll contact you during the night or whatever and say hey come find me you know this this uh it helps you out trying to figure out what you need to do which is sometimes nice especially in these older oh pa pa Paula where are you it's time for a yummy piece of pie Dad's going crazy trying to find his daughter. I don't wouldn't blame him, I guess. So, all right, to the park we go. Do 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 do. Berglin Park. The boss of Berglin Park is Everdred. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. Well, maybe we should go talk to him. <laughs> Why don't we ch chat la later after we fight? Alright, Everdread, what you got? Ouch. 34 damage? That's pretty nasty. Yeah. Big green on your face, smack it off with a baseball bat. Uh, I guess we'll life up here. A biting attack? That's just rude. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. It is. Wow, nice. Ouch. Uh, life up? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, see, we're at the point where a life up doesn't quite give us enough HP back. To get to full. That's game. 986 experience. Wow. Level 14. Offense by 1. Guts by 1. HP by 2. PP by 2. Power of paralysis. Yeah, I'm Everdread Boss Berglund Park. When I jump off the roof, I twist my ankle. Anyways, I lost and nothing will change that. You know you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout to the peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit had kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely Hall Cole Strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Alright. There we go. Uh, I need to sell these cookies. <laughs> That's terrible. I can't sell things to you. I could pick up the for sale sign, but I don't have enough 
inventory space to do that right now. I guess I'll just eat the cookies. Oh, I know what I need to do as well here. I, yeah, I'll, ah! We'll see if that, one sec here. All right, so one thing that we need to do here is come see the Apple Kid. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Aw. Nest dug around in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a broken machine inside. Nest takes it. Yay. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I might be, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Sh sure. What can you give me? I can give you a cookie. Thanks. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you'd like to invest some money in my inventions? Sure. Yes. Oh, uh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Well, go ahead and make yourself comfortable anyway. You can flop down anywhere. Alright, so we need $200. There's a reason why we need to do this. Um, Orange Kid is also an inventor as well. And he's apparently the smart one. But, mm, but not really. Um, you need an invention from him. So we are going to go and give him some monies. We need a hundred and... Seventy dollars. There we go. Done. Go back down there. Go give him some money. Hopefully he doesn't ask for more food. That'd be sad. It seems like you are expecting something from me. Maybe you'd like to invest some money in my inventions? Sure. Yes. 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 Oh, excuse me. I mean... Thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Here you go. Thank you. I won't let you down. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Alright. We got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip. The receiver phone is one of the... Oh. <sighs> Excuse me here. It is pretty well an item that you need in this game. Oh, hey, he's outside. P -p Paul is not home yet. Every dread in Berglund Park might know something. Oh boy, now I'm really worried. Oh. Yeah. Kind of did that the wrong order. That happens a lot. <laughs> it's okay. Mm, got the same effect. If you don't know where you're going, then yeah. It gives you some good direction on what you might need to do. So, which is nice. Ooh, butterfly. Uh, sugar baby. Um, we are going to head out over this way and try and get to Happy Happy Village because, well, that's where we need to go. What time is it? No, it's coming up to about... 20 minutes, so we'll get through here, I think, and then uh, end the episode shortly after. I want to try and keep these around 20 minutes. I know sometimes they'll run a little bit far, a little bit longer, but uh, it's nice to keep it at around that time. Unless, you know, you leave comments or something and want longer episodes, then that's always fine, too. And I can do that. Wait, what time is it? Oh yeah, it's, I guess it's almost closer to 30 minutes. My bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, once we get out of this cave, I'll um, end the episode here. Just wanted to get through it. I mean, it's, it's hard to judge when to stop a recording with this game because sometimes it's, there's like a really good stopping point. Like, oh, okay, it's in between these two things. Perfect. 
and sometimes well there's like you don't really accomplish too much or you you're about to accomplish something and you know there's something there so you want to just keep pushing but anyways um that's going to be it for this episode of Draymond Does Gaming. It's Draymond playing Earthbound. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the uh, the show so far. And yeah, if you did like it, please hit the like button. And also subscribe if you haven't already. It's always a nice thing to do. And you get to notification when the new ones come up. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.